let's take a look at linear function. Since starting a new recycling plan, Julia's office recycles 15 kilograms of paper each week. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the week's F and the paper recycled E. Okay, well I like to underline, underline all my keywords. So 15 kilograms of paper each week. We know that the number of weeks are F and the amount of paper recycled is E. Now, when you have a linear function, the rate tells you what you're multiplying together. And here's what I mean by that. Here's our rate, 15 kilograms of paper each week, right? Each week is the same thing as saying per week. So that means every week, another 15 kilograms of paper are recycled. So if they're recycling for one week, 15 times one or 15. If they're recycling for two weeks, 15 times two would be 30 kilograms of paper, right? 15 times three, 45, and so on. So whatever it's per, in this case, or each, or for each one, is what you're gonna multiply by. So if it's 15 kilograms per week, I'm gonna multiply that by the number of weeks, which in this case they told us was F, right? That's the same thing I just said a second ago, where we said for one week, 15 times one, for two weeks, 15 times two. So for any number of weeks, 15 times F. And then all together, that's gonna equal the total amount of paper recycled, which they told us to call E. So we're gonna say E is equal to 15 F. The city produces 11 jobs every year L. Write an equation to show the relationship between how many jobs are produced each year and the total number of jobs K. Okay, well this time our rate is 11 jobs per year. Okay, so that's gonna be multiplied by the number of years L, right? So I'm gonna say 11 times L. And again, this is the same idea as before. For one year, 11 times one or 11 jobs. For two years, 11 times two or 22. For L years, 11 times L, right? That re represents any number of years. And all together, that's gonna to equal the total number of jobs which they told us to call K. So we're gonna say K is equal to 11L. Andrew makes $5 an hour. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the money made F and the hours worked G. Okay, well our rate is $5 an hour. Okay, since that's our rate, right, per hour, every hour, right, however you want to think about that, it's going to be multiplied by the number of hours. Okay, well, they said the money made was F and the hours worked are G. Well, $5 an hour would be 5G, right, $5 times the number of hours he worked. And again, you can always think of this with numbers to make sure it makes sense. If he works one hour, five times one. If he works two hours, he gets five times two or ten dollars. And that works for any number of hours G. So five times the number of hours equals his total amount of money, which they told us to call F. So we're going to say F is equal to five G. Mia wants to make a unicorn hair wig but a unicorn only sheds seven hairs a day. Write an equation to show the relationship between days M and the total unicorn hair shed, L. All right, well, if the unicorn sheds seven hairs a day, that's our rate, right? For one day, seven times one or seven hairs. For two days, seven times two or 14 hairs. So for any number of days, we would take the seven hairs a day and multiply by the number of days. Okay, well days were m, so we're going to say 7 times m, and all together that should equal the total number of unicorn hairs she has, which they told us to call l. So l, or her unicorn hairs, is equal to 7m. Pioneers are buying mules to trek across the country. Each of the eight wagons require F mules to pull them. Write the equation to express the relationship between the total mules E they need to pull 
in all the wagons. Okay, so each of the eight wagons requires F mules. So another way to say that is they need F mules per wagon or per, yep. Write an equation to express the relationship between the total mules E they need to pull all the wagons. Okay, well if they have eight wagons that need F mules per wagon, we can say 8F, right? We're multiplying the number of mules for each wagon times the number of wagons. And that's gonna equal the total mules E that they need. So E is equal to 8F. Joshua makes $3 an hour. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the money made C and the hours worked D. All right, well, if he makes $3 an hour, the money made is C and the hours worked is D, well, $3 an hour or per hour is telling us to multiply three by the number of hours. Okay, well, the hours worked was D. So we're gonna say 3D and all together, that should equal his total amount of money made, which they told us to call C. So C equals 3D.